Hi everybody, I hope you're having a phenomenal day. My name is Alicia Masters, and if you've been thinking to buy or sell property in and around the Puerto Vallarta market, I am your girl. Today I'm located in Gaviotas, and if you've watched my channel, I have another listing that is not too far from here called Casa Volador. If you are looking for a family home, you wanna be centrally located in town, Gaviotas is a phenomenal choice of a neighborhood to live in. It's very quiet here. Obviously you can hear a dog barking right right next door but it's usually very quiet neighborhood to live in there's a lot of old houses here that are very 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 big and now you're starting to see a resurgence in this neighborhood there's a lot of people that were living in the romantic zone and it's very congested now um, it's you know it's just changed a lot over the years it's really a great place if you want to live and you want to be in the hustle and the bustle you like being in the action but if you're looking for a more laid-back lifestyle that is what you're going to find here in Gaviotas Okay, so let me give you a little bit of history about this house that you are gonna come and take a look at with me in just a few moments. So this house was built in the 1980s and the owners who came in and took over this place literally did a gut job from top to bottom. Every single thing in this place is 100% brand new, literally from the rooftop all the way down. They did keep the Saltillo style floors, which you're going to see, which I absolutely love. And I love when you have the mix of the old style versus the new style. So you're gonna see a mix of the old Mexican traditional with a lot of new stuff as well. Not only did they completely renovate this house from top to bottom, they even extended. So in the very back, they added this beautiful covered lanai you're going to see. And then you have a guest house in the way, way back, an absolutely beautiful pool. You have two levels here, but the rooftop is a finished rooftop. So you're gonna see when we get up there, there's a little place where you can put in a um, half bathroom. They were gonna do a bar up there. You could even add a palapa so you can have three levels of living here with a beautiful backyard. If you have kids, if you have pets, this is a completely perfect place to live, nice and quiet. And these owners are very meticulous. Literally guys, there is not a single thing left for you to do. Pack your toothbrush, get the keys, move in, and you are living that Mexican tranquil lifestyle that you are looking for. Alrighty guys, let's get into the details of this property. So you have five bedrooms here with five bathrooms and two flex spaces. What is a flex space? A flex space is a space that you can use to do an office. You can make it another bedroom if you need one, an art studio, a yoga studio. It can be whatever you want it to be. So let's go over that again. Five bedrooms, two flex spaces, five bathrooms. You have a little over 5,300 square feet. Now let me get into a little bit more details. When they took this place over, they did over 300,000 US dollars worth of renovations and over $100,000 worth of furnishings. All of this is included in the price. If you've ever done a renovation before, you know what a headache it is. These guys took over a year to complete this project. So all of the pain and the suffering and all the frustrations that you go through, picking out furniture, all of the right finishes, that's already been done for you there's literally nothing left for you to do all right now hang out to the very end of this video if you would like to see some still shots look in the description down below if you want to find more information about this house and how you can get in contact with me whatsapp is the best way to reach me for the fastest reply um, and also make sure you subscribe to this channel i do two to three videos a week of properties that are for sale on the market here in Vallarta. so if you want to keep your finger on the pulse of what is going on with our real estate market subscribe to my channel right now that is everything i wanted to say let's go get into this place guys let's go alrighty before we even get inside I want to go ahead and explain certain things to you guys so this um, column here this column here and this wall here are completely original to the house the rooftop is an addition the electric garage is an addition this gate the metal work here and the gate here all of that is completely brand new also, when you're gonna notice, it's kind of hard to see right now because it's a little bit dark out here, but all of this granito with the beautiful pattern that you see here with the hand laid rocks, all of that is brand new as well. When you enter into the gate, obviously if you are driving your car, you're gonna come through the driveway, but if you're, you've got some guests, you did Uber Eats or someone's coming over, they're gonna enter in through your gate. You do have a digital doorbell here, which makes it super nice. You can open this door from the inside and welcome in everything here is brand new but i love how they did the mixture of the old versus the new so you see this column here where it kind of looks like the older concrete with the hand laid bricks and stuff that is the kind of details that i absolutely love this sidewalk is original too and then they actually took the driveway and the sidewalk out front and they just kind of mimicked the pattern so everything flows 
all of the garden all around are brand new. There are these lights that are here. Uh, I don't think the lights on the bottom, but all the lights around here are all on timers. And so at night, this place twinkles all by itself. You don't even have to lift a finger. Everything is completely automated. And you see this beautiful big balcony here? This place has tons of balconies, which let all of the air flow through. You can easily leave all of these doors and windows open and you have an amazing breeze that kicks through. So as you can see from the outside here, you've got a two car carport here, and then you do have access you've got a gate that's here so if you did have somebody that was coming to take care of the pool the pool guy doesn't even have to enter through your house they put two separate gates in the back now you're going to hear barking probably when we get inside because they do have um, a few small dogs they put those gates there so that you have the ability to keep the dogs in the backyard and then you don't have to worry about them coming out here to the front yard okay now that's a lot of details before we've even gotten inside but let's make our way inside and i have so many stories to tell you guys because this place you have over 5,300 square feet of living space here. So obviously there's gonna be a lot to say. First thing that I wanna mention, you guys know I love a big metal gate before you even get inside. You have the ability to let all of the air flow through while still maintaining the privacy and the security. So let's enter into this space, guys. It's absolutely wonderful. And you'll see here, there's a continuity with the front gate here at the opening. You have a double door opening. I love how they kept the original wall here. And these are the original Saltillo style floors that you're gonna see throughout the house. Now, when the floor changes, that's where you get into the addition and you're going to see that as soon as we get into the kitchen and the back space you are absolutely going to love the flow of this house it is actually it is getting done tongue tied here it's absolutely phenomenal even though you have 5300 square feet of living there is so many different areas that you can hang out at. Nothing feels like it's an awkward space. So you can see here in part of the living room, you do have a separate workstation. When you get upstairs, you're going to see an actual office. So if you just have a kid that maybe needs to do homework, this is a perfect little area that they can do, or you just wanted to quickly look something up online. Then you have a beautiful living room here. You can see it's very, very, very spacious. Right off of the kitchen. Let's continue on this way and then we'll make our way back into the bedroom that's on the ground floor. And then you can see the outdoor as well. So as I'm walking in, remember I said you can kind of see when the floor changes, this is the older style and then everything from here all the way back is all 100% brand new. If you are a chef, if you like to entertain, this is a dream, dream, dream come true. And I'm gonna just show you everything first and then I'm going to get into all of the details of why this space is so absolutely perfect. So let's say that either you are cooking or you're having a nice party and you have people over that are preparing all the food. This section of the kitchen right here is completely separated from the rest of the house. So you can be over here preparing all of your food. You're still in all of the heart of the action, as you can see here, but you're kind of out of the way. So you can be over here doing your own thing. You have a nice big farmer sink here. There's a dishwasher here. They have a bar sink here, have all of the food, all of the entertaining going on over here. And then this is a whole bar. You even have a little micro fridge here. The owners of this place have literally thought of every single detail and they love to entertain. They have their friends over all the time. I also like how they have two tones here in the kitchen. You can see you have a darker blue here and then you have more of a teal on the top. Everything just really flows. And they also, um, excuse me, and they also have a porcelain here on the countertops and on the backsplash. And if you'll notice on the backsplash, you don't see any of the electrical outlets. Well, where are you gonna plug your things in, you might wonder. The electrical outlets are up on the top of the, um, underneath and the bottom of the countertop so that you have beautiful unobstructed views of the backsplash without having to see any of the outlets. You also can turn on the pool lights and things from a flick of the switch here, The um, not the pool lights, but the fountain that comes on. You can do all of that here from the kitchen. Before we get outside, I wanna show you the downstairs bedroom here, and then we'll make our way to the bedrooms in the guest house that they have um, in the back. Look at the rounded doors here. You know I'm a fan of the rounded doors. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love how they're encased in the wood. Like I said, every bedroom has an ensuite bath. 
show you the bathroom here. Making our way into the downstairs bedroom now. I like how you have the built-ins here. This is a queen size bed, just to give you an idea for a feel for the space. It's a perfect guest room. You've got a little table here, so if they wanted to do a little bit of work, you have the ability to do all of that. You're kind of set back from the rest of the house, so it's gonna be a nice, quiet place to be. Now let's make our way through the kitchen to the back of the house. This is where you're going to be spending all of your time. This is really the magic of the house. And I'm so glad you're getting to see it at night because everything just twinkles back here. It literally turns into a paradise. I wanna just show you the whole back of the house and then we're gonna get into the details because this house is phenomenal. You're in your own space back here. It's totally, totally, totally private and you don't have any neighbors looking in on you. You can do most anything back here and you've got so much space. One thing that I wanted to point out is you have Cantera flooring here. And I like how they have the inlay with the top, with the, um, the rocks going all the way around. They have the Mexican, well, kind of hard to see here, but you'll probably see more in the photo that I'm gonna take. There you go. You can kind of see there's like a beautiful pattern Mexican tile. That's the trim of the pool. I like the big waterfall that they have. You have a nice large covered area. So if you're hanging out here in the daytime and you wanted to get an escape from the heat or maybe it was raining, you can see you've got a lot of space here. A little lounge area here, an outdoor patio dining set here. You've got indoor dining, outdoor dining, the garden is absolutely phenomenal. And then you have a flex space here and you have another bedroom here. We'll make our way to the flex space. Flex space could be whatever you wanted. You can turn this into a bedroom, another office, an art studio, a man cave. You really have lots of different options here. I like how they did the pitched roof ceiling. Now this structure was actually here before, built in the 80s, but it was all dilapidated and falling down. They actually restored this. So this structure was here, even though it's all brand new, it was all, everything was, uh, the structure itself was here, but everything is completely 100% brand new. And they just did such a phenomenal job. Okay, you have a king size bed in here, just to give you an idea for a feel for the space. As always, I like to move all around so you guys have an idea of everything you have to see. I like how they have the recessed built-ins here for the closet leading into the ensuite bath. And this bathroom has a nice tall rainfall shower, no glass door, which I think is really cool. I like how they have the rocks, inlaid rocks here for the flooring. Show you guys all of the finishes. And this door, the metal door that they have here, this is also original to the home. So they've just kept so many things that are like the charm of this place, but then they upgraded everything too, right? So I'm just obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with this house. Okay, so now that we've had a chance to see the downstairs, let's go and get upstairs. You have three levels of living here. Again, you have a little over 5,300 square feet here but every space is just so well laid out, so well thought of, every place has a purpose. You know what I didn't show you because this place is so big? We didn't go into the pantry. So you have a whole nother pantry here. You can see you've got lots of space and there's another laundry downstairs as well. So this could be laundry for the pool towels, um, things like the bedding for everything for downstairs. So I like that you don't have to go bring the um, laundry from upstairs, from downstairs, upstairs, and vice versa. When I said every detail is already thought of, that's what I mean. There's nothing for you to do. Lots of the lights here are on switches, dimmers. Okay, let's make our way upstairs. One of the things that I wanted to point out is I am obsessed, obsessed. So they have these granito style staircase that goes all the way up, but they have a wood inlay and it looks so beautiful. I actually thought that this was an addition that the owners did, but they didn't. This came original to the house. There are certain little features here that just have so much character and these stairs, when you see them in person, I don't know how they're really videoing, but when you see it in person, it's absolutely beautiful. 
Okay, so you have two bedrooms on the primary level. Now on the second level, you have three bedrooms. I just wanted to move around to give you guys a view of everything that you have to look at before we get into all the bedrooms as you're coming upstairs. And like I mentioned before, this house is three levels. You continue to go all the way up to the rooftop. We'll make our way up there in just a sec. So since we're already here, let's go into the primary suite. So this is walking right up the staircase, hanging a right, right off the bedroom. You can see where he has an office area set up here. I like how you have the nice built-in here. Very nice to have organization. Okay, and we're making our way up into the bedroom. You have nice, tall, tall, tall ceilings in here. This is a king size bed, just to give you an idea for the space. And anytime you have the older Mexican style properties, that's when everything is so nice and large. Just look at the size of this bedroom. It's absolutely phenomenal. This primary bedroom by itself is like the size of an entire condo down in the romantic zone. And remember the balcony that you looked at when we were outside? Let me give you the view of what everything looks like here. And it's so cool too, because as you can see, the attention to detail that these owners put forth, they even put the Saltillo style floors on the rooftop, I mean on the rooftop, yeah, of, um, of the garage door. And then these are your views. You're kind of in a fisheye lens right now. So I'm just gonna kind of zoom in so you can see absolutely how breathtaking the Sierra Madre Mountains are sitting behind all of the Mexican style homes here. I love the terracotta style roofs. You can see beautiful cupolas everywhere. If you want to have the Mexican style vibe with the modern, you know, this, uh, this brand new house, that is literally what this is. This is a complete perfect blend. Okay, let's get back into the details of this place. So we've walked into the bedroom. You do have two separate closets. So this is walk-in closet number one. And we'll make our way over to walk-in closet number two. And then we'll get into the very spacious uh, master primary bathroom. Okay, I like how they have the addition of the lights here. Right, show you guys the bathroom. You have a double sink vanity here. There's also a double shower. You have one on each side with a nice size bench. And inside the shower, they even have, let me turn around, they even have a face there, which I think is really cute. Okay, just give you another angle here. Show you all of the finishes here. All of the wood throughout this entire place is tropical hardwood, so you have no worries of any termites, which we do have termites here. It's a tropical climate in Vallarta. So all of the woodwork here, completely brand new. The doors are Perota. It's amazing, and they stained Perota. Normally people leave it with the veins and everything, but I like the dark wood that they've chosen. It just complements the space so well. Okay, so that was the primary. Again, you have all these little terraces, balconies right off, and look up on top of this one. I love when they have the terracotta style um, roofs with the wooden beams. It's just so beautiful. This house has so much charm. It's big, but it doesn't feel too big. It's perfect for a family. Now there are two people that are living here and they said, Leisha, we use every single space. Look at this guest suite. How beautiful is this? Most things that you guys see are staying. There are some exclusions. There are some personal items. They're not gonna leave any of the artwork behind, um, but the guys have just done a phenomenal job with all of the design here. Now, I will let you know one thing that they um, didn't quite get to. There's a few things that if you wanted to um, change in these spaces, you couldn't. I'm gonna point them out as we're walking around. So if you did want to close this ca this closet off with some wood here, you would very easily be able to um, to close that off with a carpenter. Getting into the bathroom here. I like how they used a lot of the polished cement here for a lot of the, um, the sinks that you're going to see all around. The little micro tiles there. I love when they have the LED back lights and I am so obsessed with this shower. How you step up, I'm gonna show you. So you step up into the shower and then you have these fun little um, windows here uh, overlook the pool, but you still have lots of privacy. It's gonna give you, and the ceilings in here are so tall. And then you have this nice glass door that's like a farmhouse glass door that you can slide so you're not getting anything wet. Okay, so now we've seen two bedrooms upstairs. 
Now we'll make our way into the third bedroom here. So they use this as a TV room. Very easily you can turn this back into a bedroom. I love how you have the little art niche here with the rounded area. Now see how this is kind of set back a bit here? That is where you could put the closet back. Since they are just two people that are living here, obviously they don't need five bedrooms. So they've turned two of the bedrooms into this, which you see here is kind of like another TV room. And then they turned one of the bedrooms into a closet. My dream closet, I wish I had a bedroom room that was a closet so just kind of getting in here showing you guys everything every bedroom has an ensuite bath okay and this bedroom also has a covered rooftop out here look how beautiful you can step out onto this balcony and you're just overlooking your own yard you do have a couple of neighbors and something else I think is really nice about this house is you're overlooking a lot of nice houses all around you and the neighbors are wonderful he was letting me know these are um, a couple the owners here are a couple of Canadian um, people that are just here for a few months out of the year you have um, professionals that live in these other these other homes professional Mexican families that live in these other homes so you just have really great neighbors all around you it's a really nice quiet private community Give you one more look at the bedroom here. Now we'll make our way into the fourth bedroom that's up here, what they're actually using it as a closet. And because they're using this as a closet, I am so obsessed with these guys. They've done such a brilliant, brilliant job. So in the bathroom, they've turned this into their laundry room and they have a couple of dogs. So you do see a little doggy wash here as well. So if you have lots of clothes and you wanted a really nice laundry room, you would totally appreciate this room. But it could easily turn be turned back into a bedroom if you had um, if you had a big family. All right, so now we've seen all of the bedrooms upstairs. Let's make our way now upstairs to the rooftop. And there's so many things that you could do up here. Um, you're not able, because of the HOA here, you couldn't enclose this to make it another living space as far as like it, uh, with like the walls and the roof and everything. But you do have some availability to come up here. You can put a palapa. When we get to the other side, I'll show you where you already have all the, the plumbing to do a, um, to do a, uh, a half bathroom and you could also put in a bar, a wet bar, which is exactly what they were gonna do. So they already have all of the plumbing. I just wanna give you guys a view of the Sierra Madre Mountains and the neighborhood here. It's so beautiful. And one of the things that you're also going to see up here is that we already have lighting all up here as well. Remember the skylight from the bathroom? So you're standing over the primary bedroom here. That's the skylight that's over your bathroom. Making our way to the rest of the rooftop here. So you can see that they already have the plumbing here. So their original idea was they were going to put a wet bar here. And if you walk around the bend, they already have the plumbing and everything ready to do a half bath here. So 99.9 .9 things are already finished here. There are a couple of little details that you could still do and make it your own. So now that you guys have had a chance to see this absolutely beautiful home, let's go get into a recap and then hang out to the very end and we can um, get into some still shots. All right guys, just one more view of the mountains. It's just so beautiful here. Let's go get into a recap. Alrighty guys, now that you have had a chance to see this absolutely phenomenal dream home, let's get into the details one more time. You have five bedrooms here, two flex spaces, five full bathrooms, a little over 5,300 square feet. the description feet. down below if you want to see more information out about this house and how you can contact me. Remember, WhatsApp is the best way to reach me for the fastest reply. And I know you did click like and subscribe. Like to this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, like I said before, guys, I do two to three videos a week of properties that are for sale on the market. And I also film properties that are upcoming or pocket listings, which means you're not gonna find out about them from anywhere else except for here. So if you do wanna keep your finger on the pulse of what is going on, click subscribe right now stay tuned to the end of this video if you would like to see some still shots that is everything i hope you guys have enjoyed this tour we'll catch you at the next video bye guys peace